Welcome everybody. It's, uh, this is Alberto Vox, Regional Sales Manager for, for Immunotech. We welcome you to today's webinar. Um, you are our special guest today's webinar. And uh, first, I would like to uh, mention that this webinar will be recorded and will be available tomorrow at our Immunotech podcast. If you don't have Immunotech podcast in your uh, smartphone or your computer, you can just go to immunotech.podbean.com and you will be able to listen or and see this webinar as well as other recordings as well. So make sure you go to immunotech.podbean.com to listen and view this webinar tomorrow before the end of the day. And now I would like to uh, welcome our president for the uh, United States and Dominican Republic, Meredith. Meredith Berkic, which is our host for tonight. Meredith, are you on the line? I am on the line, Alberto. Thank you so much for opening up the call tonight. All right, thank you so much and take it, all, take it away. Okay, and I just wanna double check one thing on this technology for this uh, webinar. We, of course, have, have chosen and elected to use this platform because we can get a lot of people on here. It does say start broadcast um, and attendees still on hold, Alberto. So could you just double check and make sure that we are live? All right, so let's do that. And uh, I guess we should start again. You're right. So hold on. Okay, of course. We are at uh, Immunotech Podcast going to your website, immunotech.podbean.com. So thank you for joining us today. We have great, great. Well, first, we'd like to introduce our host for tonight's webinar, our president, of the United States and Dominican Republic, Meredith Berkich. Are you there, Meredith? I am, Alberto. Good evening and welcome everyone to the call tonight. So glad to be here. Thank you, Meredith. So we're ready to start. So why don't you take it away? All right, happy to. Well, again, good evening, Immunitech family and a very exciting day today. Um, we've got so much going on at the company, uh, so much good progress is being made, and, and today really symbolizes a, you know, a great kickoff uh, to what we know is going to be an exceptional uh, opportunity for us to connect with you uh, with our new project strategy, um, with uh, educating you about the products. And so um, one of the things that uh, is really big for us right now is giving you all of the tools that you need to succeed and of course like today for example i don't know how many of you have been to www.directsellingnews.com and seen the science and happiness story about immunitech um, there on your uh, uh, computers and the new print version will be coming out of course but if you haven't already been there um it really talks about merging science with happiness and and so happy to be here with you tonight very happy to have a very special guest i'm going to introduce you here in just a moment um, but as far as the project strategy about the uh, the products, uh, you know, we have an incredible family of products here at Immunitech. And so, you know, we really did some brainstorming with people, you know, had a lot of calls with, with the charming Dr. Gutman uh, and, and members of the team on product development. And we just really felt that uh, we wanted to go ahead and have an opportunity to educate you about all of the product offerings because we have so many that don't actually, um, you know, take away wallet share from one product or another, but actually stand on their own in the marketplace. So what we decided to do was really launch a monthly product educational webinar with updated sales and marketing tools on all of our products. And so you're going to see us uh, moving in this direction with kind of a product focus of the month or two. Uh, just to give you an opportunity to understand what we have to offer. And of course, we're going to be supporting those with product promotions. So as you're taking a look at, um, you know, what we have to offer every month, we're going to have lots of things for customers. We're going to be setting up new auto ship packages. We're going to be putting a lot of things out there that will help you drive your business and get your customers and consultants in your organization on auto ship on a monthly auto ship because of course, you know, they're products that you need to be taking on a daily basis in addition to, of course, our flagships, Immunical and Platinum. Um, we also are doing outbound box stuffers, which is new. You know, we wanna let everybody know at the, right now we're setting it at the gold consultant and above um, so that we make sure that they know we have a new formula. There's a, a new calcium D in town. And so we want everybody to be aware of it. In addition to pulling all of the uh, email addresses for anybody who has ever purchased the calcium product, of course, the star of tonight's show, um, because we want to let them know, Hey, if you've ever tried it, if you loved it, if you thought you loved it before, you're going to love it more now. 
Um, and so that's coming out as well. And then talking at you know the events that are that are focused on the area of product education because this is the one thing I know as your president coming in new uh, just a few short months ago is that people were hungry for product education they wanted to hear from the doctors they wanted to hear more about the product so that they could feel like they were a better ambassador for Immunitech products that you're all on this call tonight very excited about so uh, we're looking forward to growing that with you as we move ahead so so we uh, coming up to university this is going to be a place this is the next upcoming educational uh, series opportunity for us to let you know about our what's going to be weekly webinar series uh, where we focus on a different topic every week and bring everything for the new person you as a developing uh, a, you know product ambassador for the company uh, you know some of the new sales tools how to how to win um, and so this kickoff tonight is very very special it is our inaugural event and thank you so much again for joining us um, and it is my privilege and my pleasure uh, to introduce to you tonight's guest because tonight's guest is somebody who is very special most of you have had you know years to get to know dr. Gutman all he brings to the table but I don't know that everybody really realizes that as our science guy, Dr. Gutman was here even before the company launched in 1997. So, you know, he has been around the block. He has been around the science. He worked extremely closely with Dr. Bunos and Dr. Conshaven, and then also, of course, Dr. Grobe. And he also has been critical, absolutely critical in the research and development area. And he's been really our teaching guru. So, you know, he is, he is somebody that continues to champion the products champion our cause of, of you know better living of really a better life for people all around the world and of course extending the vision of both dr budos and dr dr Kongchaven as we look forward to making this world a better place because immunitech and you are all in it um so but he was you know a little bit of history on him just before we get started that is very interesting and i love this piece of his pedigree probably the most because as he was extremely an accomplished emergency doc for years and years you know he just really got to a place where he was tired of just kind of patching things up as people came in um, that were broken and said you know what i want to get to the root cause and and maybe try to to prevent some of the pain and suffering in the first in the first place and and for myself i mean i i love that piece of problem solving you know i i don't i like to look at the symptoms but i want to get to the actual place where it starts uh, so that we can make sure that the you know that the pain never happens in the first place and so he and i totally aligned aligned love that piece of his heart um, and of course you know after he met dr bunos he realized that this was going to be his life's passion shifted his entire career over to the study of glutathione so that's what he is all about but he knows lots of other stuff lots of other stuff about all the other product pieces and so in addition to glutathione we are going to hear from him tonight talking about the newest version something that he was very instrumental in the development of the new calcium d so, Dr. Gutman, welcome to the call tonight. So great to have you on. My absolute pleasure. What fun. I love this. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad. And we, we love that you love this. It's been <laughs> wonderful. Um, you know, and before, you know, there's so much to cover. We have a very short period of time to go through. I know you've got lots to share. But I think that, it, you know, where we really wanted to start out this call in talking about calcium and finding out from you directly is that, you know, we, we get calcium through various areas of our diet. But what is it that really prompts us to need a calcium supplementation regimen? Well, I think most people out there are easily going to say, well, calcium is important for your bones and your teeth. But what's so often overlooked is that calcium is critical in nerve transmission and muscle contraction and heart function. Uh, even our hormones are controlled uh, to the large part by calcium and much more. But he here's the thing. When any of these different systems are short of calcium, guess where they steal it from? They, they steal it from your bones. The bones are actually a storage place that other tissues tap into. So our bones are very, very generous uh, to their detriment. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're generous, but I, I guess that then if we're, if we're looking at supplementation and calcium supplements in particular, I mean, how does the medical field feel about this area in particular? 
Well, you're hearing all kinds of opinions about calcium supplementation um, recently, different articles coming out. But the point is that calcium still is the number one supplement prescribed by doctors, more than multivitamins, more, more than anything. If a doctor is going to prescribe a supplement, um, it's going to be calcium uh, by far and beyond any others. Is there, in your opinion, is there a group of people that uh, doctors would prescribe calcium to more than others? Well, most typically it would be middle-aged and older women because they're the ones that are highest risk for developing uh, thinning of the bones that we call osteopenia early on, but later on uh, you all know it as osteoporosis. So does that mean just older people need it or what about our kids? You know, I mean, a lot of people are parents and grandparents on this call tonight. What do you think? It, absolutely. Um, uh, most research suggests that that uh, our kids are, are, are just not getting enough calcium. OK. And so for adults in general, so is it is it mostly, uh, you know, women? Is it mostly men, just adults of a certain age or all adults? I'm glad you asked, Meredith. Across the board, most North Americans are going to have a hard time getting the amount of calcium that they require. Right. Okay. Well, that's good foundational knowledge for us tonight. And it really sets us up to talk specifically, uh, specifically about Immunitex calcium. So take it away, Dr. G. Well, uh, as you mentioned, this is uh, really a reformulation and it's, it's absolutely an outstanding product. One that I think most people really don't appreciate how special this particular calcium is. This calcium D from milk. And uh, you can see the top subtext there, the way nature intended. Now, why would we say the way nature intended? Um, of course, everybody's uh, out there would prefer to take an all natural product, but there are several other reasons. And I, I'm, I'm sure that by the end of this presentation, um, y'all are gonna be co quite convinced that this is head and shoulders above all the other forms of calcium that you're gonna see on the market. So let's look at some of those. Um, if you're gonna walk over to your local pharmacy or your, your health food store, the most common form of calcium in a supplement by far is something called calcium carbonate. You see it there, calcium carbonate. So what is calcium carbonate? Uh, I'm sorry to say that calcium is simply a mineral and it's dug up from the earth in the form of rocks. And the most common of these rocks is called dolomite. And now dolomite uh, has got a number of different applications besides turning them into calcium supplements. Um, chalk, Dolomite is used to make chalk. Calcium carbonate is chalk. And this is why we don't get too upset when a two-year-old toddler eats a bit of chalk because it's not going to hurt him. I mean, I say him because it's almost always a little boy that does that. So let's look at some other products that are also sold as natural. And I, I use italics around that, sources of calcium. Now here's one, uh, increasingly popular, oyster shells. Uh, you take these oysters and you, you crush them up and you get the calcium out of there. Now remember, oysters are filter feeders. So whatever toxins appear in the water, by definition, they're going to pass through the oysters. And here we see uh, an interesting photo of um, some worker uh, trying <laughs> to clean up these oyster shells. Another natural source is animal bones. You know, you take an animal and you strip the meat off them and you take their bones and you crush them up and make calcium supplements. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to touch that one. You guys make a choice as to whether you want to do that. Coral, uh, look at this beautiful picture. Uh, another filter feeder. And uh, fortunately, most coral reefs are highly protected from people damaging them. So unless you've got your own coral farm, uh, your source of coral is, is going to be far from pristine. So let's look at our very first source of calcium, mother's milk. Even a newborn's 
immature digestive system, um, he or she can absorb this calcium. And in fact, this is the type of calcium we can all absorb efficiently. And of course, Immunitech, we don't use mother's milk. Uh, that would be a little bit difficult logistically. Um, but we get our milk uh, from specific herds of cows. Now, there's a lot of people out there who have issues with dairy products. You know, it could be lactose intolerance or an allergy to a specific protein in milk. But let me draw your attention as to how our calcium is actually obtained. All the lactose is removed. So lactose intolerance is a non-issue. All the water is removed. So whatever water-soluble toxins are there are also removed. Same thing with the fat. The fat's taken out, so the fat-soluble toxins are out. And the protein is also taken out. So if you've got a protein allergy, it won't affect you at all. And what's left is just a pure mineral complex, which includes calcium that we get from this milk. So you've seen these other natural and unnatural sources of calcium. Um, uh, these, we are really not meant to absorb these very well or very efficiently, uh, but Immunitech uses this calcium for milk. Not only is it the calcium that we're designed to absorb from birth, but it, it's extremely absorbable and uh, extremely bioavailable. Very, very important. And what's underappreciated, and uh, please, uh, you've got to understand this, that this mineral complex is not just calcium. It's so much more. I mean, take a look. Magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, iron, zinc, copper, all of these, all of them play a critical role in healthy bone metabolism. And the only thing that we add to this completely natural product is vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D is essential for healthy bones. And, and recently, Immunitech has effectively doubled the amount of vitamin D in the product because uh, uh, the more uh, research studies that are done, the more apparent that so much of our population as we uh, compare it to calcium is also vitamin D deficient. Finally, let's let's close off with this short series of slides. Uh, this is absolutely going to nail it down um, when we said the way nature intended. So let's look at what what I meant by that. The way nature had intended. Here you see uh, the minerals that are found in human bones, as well as their percentages. In the next slide, we see calcium carbonate. Um, this is a typical calcium supplement that you're gonna get from the store. And as you expected, it pretty much has calcium. You know, occasionally some company might give you a premium product and throw in some magnesium, but no comparison. Now, look at this, look at this. Look at what's in the calcium D from milk. Not only does it have all the minerals that appear in human bone, but almost at the exact same ratio. This is not a coincidence. This is the way nature intended to give you the perfect and total bone nutrition. So calcium D for milk, I mean, why anybody would choose another calcium supplement uh, is a mystery to me. So enjoy it to health. Great. Thank you, Dr. Gutman. So, you know, one of the things that we we really, really want to expand on here at Immunitech, you know, part of the big vision is, uh, you know, we, we want to have a full spectrum range of products that really benefit people, you know, no matter what area of their life they need supplementation. And I think you've done a great job articulating uh, that that we all need supplementation. Um, and But before we get into the, the, the Q&A, uh, we have a number of questions that have come in, you know, from, from our family, from our Immunitech family, our sales force. Um, you, you know, there, there's, a, there's a real hard fact here. And so I'm, I'm going to kind of just tackle one of them um, before we go on uh, to the next segment, because honestly, if you, if you go on to Google, and, and I'm a big Google person, I'm a, a huge reader, uh, leaders are readers, I say, and so I, I think that's pretty much across the board. And one of the things that you're going to see when you go on there is you're going to be looking at a lot of reports that are coming out that say, hey, you know what, calcium supplements, 
no, no, calcium supplements, they may be problematic for some people. Um, you know, there's there's even some that are linking them directly to heart attacks in older women specifically. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, I know it's a tough one, but, I, you know, how do you approach that? I'd, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, and uh, I thank you for your, your honesty and transparency. Um, there were some articles that came out that, that linked uh, calcium supplementation in older women's, uh, saying that it increased their heart attack risk. Uh, but this uh, has been um, uh, very much attacked by other people um, because the, the major problem with those studies was that they were looking at uh, these women who are taking calcium carbonate alone. You see, you're going to be eating rocks from dolomite. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. It's important that uh, the calcium has other minerals as well and also vitamin D because this completely changes uh, the nature of the calcium that you're taking in. So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, it's important that uh, the calcium comes with other mil uh, minerals as well as vitamin D. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And I, I love dolomite. I had a whole bunch of it in my yard. It's white, sparkles <laughs> in the sunshine. Super pretty. Real nice. But uh, but that's great. So, so vitamin D seems to be the key here. And that's added. And I think that that's what's expanded here in the new blend. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, every time, uh, every year you go back and look at uh, the numbers on vitamin D, it's apparent that we've been under using, under utilizing vitamin D. Uh, we do know, we do know that we need more. And so the recommendations are, are constantly climbing. And hence the name Double D, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but but I think there's something else that came, you know, as, as we were really getting excited about the new blend coming out here at the first of the month. Um, and there actually was, you know, like I said, I did some extensive reading because I wanted to be ready, um, you know, to, to really help people go into this next phase of, of capturing that market share out there to benefit everyone and benefit the people using it. But there was a study that actually suggested that it increased um, the chance of women breaking a bone, you know, the pre premenopausal, postmenopausal, and beyond, um, if you take a calcium supplement, that you're actually going to get more brittle. That's what I love about you, Meredith. Uh, tough questions. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, this this is another article that was uh, kind of criticized. Um, remember, car uh, doctors are still prescribing calcium, but uh, let me. I'm I'm going to show you the flaw um, in in uh, this uh, short series of studies. Um, uh, I'm going to ask you some questions, and and uh, you'll see through your answers that you're going to figure it out yourself. So, Meredith, describe the typical person who is most likely to be taking a calcium supplement. Prescribed by a doctor. Probably the minute that a woman gets the, the fear put into her by her doctor that she is at risk for osteoporosis. Yes, you know, and, and very often it's after you do a bone density and uh, the, the doctor says, okay, um, look, I'm writing you for some calcium. So, in fact, most older women who start to take calcium are already at risk at having a degree of bone thinning. So it's less likely that women who have big and strong bones are not taking calcium. Exactly. So this study is looking at older women already with thinning of the bones and then comparing them to women not taking calcium who have nice thick bones. I mean, who do you think is going to have more fractures? Okay. So, so basically they're kind of stacking the deck in their favor because the people that they're talking to are already at high risk a portion of that population, the high-risk population. Exactly. I don't think they did it on purpose, um, and this is where we uh, are very, very uh, uh, fussy about uh, uh, experimental design. But yeah, the, they, had, they had a biased population that were prone to, to breaking bones already. So taking calcium is less likely to cure them than it is to slow down the process. So this is very important. Science is fun, eh? Uh-huh, and, and that's why we have you here, Dr. Gutman. <laughs> so, uh, in closing, calcium D, calcium D from milk is the best because? Uh, number one, it's going to give you the most natural form of calcium, the kind that we're designed to absorb from birth. Number two, 
uh, it's way more than just calcium. Uh, the other minerals and the extra vitamin D make it uh, what we call total bone nutrition. And number three, um, I would suggest that if you want to avoid the potential problems of taking a straight calcium product with the, uh, the other factors that help with its absorption, well, you want to avoid that. And, and that's why um, our product, uh, head and shoulders uh, above uh, the rest. Awesome. All right, Dr. Gutman, thank you so much. And I want to just in our in our few minutes that we have left together, um, you know, we are going to be setting up. I know they're working on this right now in, in the communication department, you know, to have a place that those of you on the line um, as you're onboarding new people and they need to you know, get additional product training and education. We're going to be all over that. But we want to have a place where they can go with their questions. Right now, the questions kind of come from a lot of different directions. And we did manage to capture some of those uh, for our segment. So from our family, um, I wanted to share a couple of them that we uh, managed to compile. Again, going forward, um, you know, in the in the months and years to come, we are going to have a very streamlined process where uh, you can not only get your questions answered, but also uh, you can be benefiting other people because a lot of times you're going to have the same questions as other people in the community as well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and open up here, um, take a look at these uh, emails that we have and go with the first question, if that's OK with you. Sure. All right. So the first one we have here, let's go ahead. Dear Dr. Gutman. I've been told that calcium should be taken with food. Is this true? Wow. That's, that's a, that's, I'm so glad that that question came up. This is really, really important. Um, the statement is only true for calcium carbonate. We're not calcium carbonate. The stuff you're going to get into stores, calcium carbonate, probably. This is because calcium carbonate requires increased stomach acid to digest it. Our calcium carb supplement does not have calcium carbonate and has another major advantage that maybe we need to talk about more. You can take this at any time of the day with or without food. Okay, this is big. So everybody out there listening to this on replay or on demand or live, this is something that you need to let people know. This is great information. All right, Dr. Gutman, how much calcium should I be getting in a day? Well, it, that depends. Who sent that question in? Uh, looks like Betty Lou from Wisconsin. Well, I'm, I'm guessing from the name that A, this is a woman, <laughs> and B, she, she's probably over 60 year old with that name. Um, <laughs> the dose depends on the person. Betty should probably be getting about 1,200 milligrams a day. But, but keep in mind that this amount includes all the calcium that she's getting naturally in her food as well. Now, a lot of health professionals would probably want her to take about a thousand milligrams a day in a supplement form. Uh, the dose changes with your sex and your age. And uh, uh, also I want to mention that for people who are taking more than 500 milligrams a day, uh, which is uh, two of the uh, Immunitech pills, um, to try to break it up into two doses, uh, it's just easier for your body to um, um, take advantage of all of it that way. Gotcha. So, so for people that that uh, you know have osteoporosis, that might be something they would be wanting to look at taking more bone density testing. Now, is that only for women that should should be maybe looking at taking more than two tablets uh, once or twice a day? Well, yeah, men get osteoporosis. It's just that it's not until later on. Uh, when their uh, guys are, are get into their 70s, well, then they start catching up to women. So both sexes need uh, calcium, and, and, and so do kids, as we said before. Wow. Okay. Well, I wish we had more time. It looks like we have like one minute left and we need to have some closing thoughts, let people know where to get resources, talk about how we're making this incredible product available. But Dr. Gutman, thank you so much for your time tonight. And I look forward to spending time with you and sharing your plethora of knowledge with all of our Immunitech family. Thank you so much, Meredith. You are welcome. Thank you. All right, Alberto, uh, closing thoughts. Um, I know we've got a, a lot of specials going on. We've got uh, a, a new sell sheet, uh, uh, you know, that people can use to share and to, and to give to people that they think uh, could definitely use some calcium D. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and wrap up the call and let people know where to find the resources. And thank you, everyone, for joining tonight. We really appreciate all that you do to make Immunitech successful. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you, Dr. Gottman. Excellent, excellent call. And yes, you're right, Meredith. We have powerful promotions that uh, we're running this month, starting uh, April 1st. 
Uh, the first one, as you can see on the flyer, we're uh, offering 10% off of this new and improved calcium B. So for the entire month of uh, April, you can get calcium with 10% off. Also for Mother's Day, we wanted to do something for Mother's Day. So we created this trio, the Mother's Day Health Trio, which includes a calcium D, one immunocal and one K21. All of that with 10, 20% uh, off uh, the original price uh, of a consultant. So make sure you take advantage of that. Order your Mother's Day trio right away so you can get it on time for Mother's Day. And also, we just want to let everybody know that this introductory price of the new and improved calcium D from milk remains the same until June 30th. Starting July 1st, there will be a slight increase in the price, so you better take advantage of this new and improved calcium uh, for um, the same price as you can buy it uh, in April and May. So make sure you take advantage of these offers. And uh, before we end the, the call, we just want to remind you that the university in Atlanta is around the corner, uh, April 27 and 28. And all you have to do is register today. You want to be there. If you're in the East Coast, you have to be there. If you're in the West Coast, you want to go there as well and uh, take advantage of so many great speakers, so many platinums that are going to be with us, and including Dr. Labarera. And of course, Meredith will be there as well. So if you want to register today, just go to your back office and just like placing an order. Just place an order and when you click uh, on the on the order, you just go to your left, and uh, the categories, you go to the last category, which is event, and then you can find university, just click on it and pay like any other order, and you will be registered. So, and uh, just to remind you at that university, just like Murdy said at the beginning, we will do the full unveil of the, the monthly product educational webinar. Uh, that we're going to be uh, offering every single month. So you want to be there and be the first one to hear about the full uh, monthly product webinar that we're going to be offering very, very soon. So thank you, everybody, for joining uh, our webinar today. And uh, please make sure to remind everybody that the recording will be available <clears throat> later tomorrow, and uh, you'll be able to listen to it uh, as on demand. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you, Dr. Goodman. Thank you, Meredith. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everybody.